Eloise, Joel, Freddy, Hello, Becky. All right, everybody. Hello, everyone coming in. Emma, Georgia. Lucy, Claire, hello, 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 Kyle, Lisa, hello. Okay, so um, today's class, all you need is a dumbbell or a kettlebell or if you've got a weight plate, anything like that really. You can even do it with a, a big bottle of water or something like that if you really wanted to, that's not a problem. So whatever kind of kit you've got. Bev, hello. Brogan. And Jess, if any of you are wondering, I did do a DIY haircut earlier. Uh, hasn't gone quite as I planned, but it will do. It will do for now. Lois, hello. Okay, so make sure you've all got enough space, everyone. Make sure um, you've got water as well. And you're not going to break anything. Sam Kane, hello. Okay, so yeah, kettlebell or dumbbell, weight plate, big bottle of water, whatever you've uh, got at your disposal. That's all you're going to need today. Um, so I'm going to run through with you first the um, first set of exercises. We'll be doing a minute on each exercise and then um, we will get straight into it. All right, so I'll show you the first block first. We'll get a warm up done and go straight in and start it off. All right, everybody. So, whether well, you've got a dumbbell, kettlebell, doesn't really matter. Um, I'll show you how to use um, them for both. First exercise we are going to do is a kettlebell swing or a dumbbell swing. So you're gonna get your kettlebell or dumbbell in this position. Ankles should be wider than the shoulders. You're gonna take your hips back and thrust forward. So that's how you're generating that momentum. And we do one minute. If you've got a dumbbell, you hold it there like that. Same thing. Or you can hold two hands on like that and use it in that way instead. All right, so it doesn't matter if you've got a dumbbell or a different type of weight. So that's going to be one full minute. Then we're going to do squat and press. We're going to do goblet as well, goblet style. So whether you've got a dumbbell or kettlebell, doesn't matter, hold it in this position. Deep squat, come up into that shoulder press. All right, one minute non-stop. Then we're going to go down onto the floor. Grab our kettlebell or our dumbbell. Narrow grip, press. Elbows coming down to the side of the body and then pushing it up. Squeeze that chest in, don't rock the elbows out. Straight after, on your feet, we're going to do a low row. So, hips back, core tight, lower yourself down and row that kettlebell, bringing the shoulder blade back towards that lower rib area. Okay? Really drive your shoulder blade back and pinch them together. And then the last exercise, two hands on. Bicep curls, like so. Keep the elbows tucked in. So that's going to be the first block that we're doing, all right? Like I said before, a minute on each one, and then we rest at the end of that block. We're going to get a warm-up done first. If anyone's got any serious health conditions or anything like that, please don't take part if you think it's going to uh, endanger you in any way or injure you in any way. Everyone else, let's get ready, let's get warmed up. So what we're going to do to start with is nice and simple. Let's just start jogging on the spot, getting those knees up, elevating that heart rate. That's it. If you have got a little bit of music you want to play in the background, please do that because I can't play any while I am teaching because I get copyrighted. So if you want to have something on just in the background, as well as being able to hear my instructions, do that. Okay. 
Okay, heels up to the back now, warming the hamstrings up. That's good. And hold it there. Some bodyweight squats. Hips right back. Make sure whenever we're squatting, we're leading with that backside towards the floor. We're aiming for a right angle at that knee joint. Core stays nice and tight. And pushing up through the heels as well. I say that's good. And now mobilize those hips, knees up, and just rotate. And now we're just going to get that upper body moving, have the feet rotate, the arms round forwards. Anybody that's coming in late, make sure you are warm. You've got your kettlebell or your dumbbell, make sure you've got plenty of water. I have just explained the block that we're doing first, but you can just join it backwards now. That's good. Open out wide and then overlap. So opening out that chest and coming across the body. Okay, arms out, rotate from right to left, lift the heel as you twist, make sure you don't leave that foot planted, because you may twist your knee, so lift that heel as you twist from right to left, keep those arms nice and straight, that's good, three, two, one, let's get a bit of a rewarm in there, knees up again, pick the heart rate back up, Really good, everybody. And hold it there. Okay, so we're going into that first exercise of the block. Kettlebell or dumbbell swings. One full minute. Three, two, one. Off we go. Nice wide stance and swing. We're loading those glutes and the hamstrings that kettlebell swing. It is not a squat. There should be minimal bend in that knee. If anything, it's just to support the movement of the hips. Power's coming from the glutes and the hamstrings. The core's staying nice and tight as well. That's it. So from the side, this is how we're looking. Hips going back, thrusting forward, squeezing the glutes in at the top. Really focus on engaging those glutes. Good. Keep it up. We've got about 10 seconds left. Then we move on to squat and press. Three, two, one. Kettlebell or dumbbell, if you've got a dumbbell, you can hold it like this, or like this, it's up to you. What we're going to do, squat, press, squat, press. Do not lock the elbows out when you're pushing that weight above the head. Okay? Make sure we get a nice wide angle at that knee joint as well. Like so, okay? Keep it up. Doesn't have to be quick. Make sure the reps are good. Keep everything controlled all the way through. Come on. Quick time check everybody, you keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. We are down onto our mats, working the chest now. So grab that weight, in line with the chest, push, squeeze those pecs in, elbows are staying down by the side of the body, 
Come on. Keep pushing. Well done. Keep it up, keep it up. Nice smooth reps. Don't let yourself stop. Just quick time check. 10 seconds. Just keep pushing. Three, two, one. Up on our feet now, quick as we can. Bums out. Back straight, row towards the bottom of those ribs. Bring the shoulder blades all the way back. Squeeze it in. Squeeze it in. We're trying to target those back muscles. Come on. And if you've got the dumbbells, hold that dumbbell like that and pull that in as well. Nice and narrow. Keep it narrow to the body. If you've got two dumbbells, put them together. Come on, keep it up. Keep going. Three, two, one, onto those biceps now. Get that kettlebell or that dumbbell or both. If you've got two dumbbells, curl up towards the chest, elbows in. Keep those elbows tucked in. Make sure you've got that full extension of the elbow joint. Come on. Just keep those reps coming. Elbows must stay in, everybody. We've got to stay in by the side of the body. Good, come on. Curl. 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 Keep it up. Five, four, three, two. One, and hold it there. Quick drink break, literally, literally about 30 seconds. Okay, to save time, you're just gonna follow me. Okay, the first exercise we're doing, alternating swings. So, if you've got that kettlebell, you're just switching in line with the chest. I'm gonna show I want people with dumbbells, especially a single dumbbell, to do it. I want you to swing, but just be a bit more controlled with your movement. Okay? So just be a bit more controlled with your movement. And safely pass that dumbbell from right to left. Alright? Everyone else with kettlebells. Three, two, one. Let's go. As you were, we're just switching now, so we're still swinging but we're switching in line with the chest. Make sure your hands are dry, because you don't want this flying through your iPad or your TV screen. You don't want that at this time. Keep it up. That's it, we've got 30 seconds. Good. Right to left, come on. Power through the hips, loading the glutes and the hamstrings. That's where we're working. Come on. All that movement from the hips. Three, two, one. Now we're doing single sided squat and press. Start on that right side. If you've got that dumbbell, just hold it in there. Elbows are what tucked in, even when we push up, okay? Don't have your elbows out. Tuck it in. Think about the weight 
distribution of that kettlebell. You're only going one way and that's back and that's not what we want. Keep it there. Three, two, one. Squat, press. Squat, press. 30 seconds. Come on. Good. Good. That's it. So we're still getting a nice deep squat, right angle, and we're coming up, pressing up. Keep it tucked in. Don't rush it. Three, two, one. Other side. Go again. Keep everything controlled that you do. Make sure the core is engaged as well. Keep it up. Come on. Just checking, checking the time, everybody. Three, two, one. Down on that mat again. Chest press now. Single sided, start on your right side. So carefully just bring that weight into position. If you've got a dumbbell, press the dumbbell. Three, two, one. Let's go. Push. 30 seconds on each side. You'll notice where my elbow position is. Okay, my elbow's here. It's not directly down my shoulder. Don't lock out the elbow joint as well. And don't reach up like so. Keep the shoulders flat on the mat. Come on. Keep it up. Switch. Carefully switch over on the other side. Go. Come on. Keep pushing. Don't lock those elbows. Keep that chest under tension all the time. Quick time check. Three, two, one. Straight on your feet. Work in the back now. Split the stance. Forearms, rest onto that thigh, get nice and flat and low, single arm row, go, pull, pull, elbows tucked, elbows tucked right in, come on, keep those elbows tucked, come on, focus, 15, Three, two, one. Other side, go. Pull. Stay flat. That's good. Keep going, everybody. Keep pulling that weight. Elbows in by the side. Three, two, one. Hold it there. Okay, now we're moving on to the back of our arms, focusing on the triceps. So what we're going to do is dumbbell or kettlebell behind the head in this position and extend. Okay? Push up. Be very careful with that exercise. Do not take it too far back, all right? You want to get a right angle, and that's it. Don't take it all the way back. Too much strain on the joint. Just get to a right angle and push. That's working that tricep. You don't need to go all the way back. Keep that up. Push, push, push. 
Come on. No more than that right angle. Three, two, one. Shake it off. So another round done. Well done. Take a little breather. Get yourself a quick drink. Well done. Okay, everybody. So, just follow me on. Again, like you did before, I'm going to explain the next block as we go on so we can fit as much as we can into this time that we have. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to be working the legs, we're also going to be working the shoulders and the biceps and the upper traps as well. So, we're going to do sumo squat to an upright row. Now, that works with a kettlebell or a dumbbell. Two hands in there if it's big enough, or you can put two together, so you can hold your dumbbells both together if you've got two. Same thing, alright? So that's our first exercise for one minute. Sumo squat, pushing the bum out, like so, I'm coming up, and don't lock the knee joint. Three, two, one, let's go. Dip, up and pull. Don't rush it. Everything you do, should be controlled. All right? Everything you do should be controlled. Good. Wide stance, if you have a look at my toes, my feet are pointing out. Okay? We've got 30 seconds left. Down, back side out, and pull up. Sumo squat to what right row? Keep that going. Come on. It's good. Quick time check. Three, two, one. Hold it there. Okay, next we're going to be working legs, biceps, shoulders. So we're going to bring our stance in, narrow in line with our shoulders again. We're going to squat with our straight arms, holding on to our dumbbell or our kettlebell, like so. So we're going to go straight down, keep the back straight, come up, curl, then press. Alright? So from the side, this is how it looks. Down. Up, curl, press. Take it down in those stages there. So it's a three stage move, alright? Three, two, one, go. One minute. Three stage move. Squat, curl, press. And then you go back the same way. Make sure those arms are straight before you come into your squat, alright? Keep it up. Everything controlled. And the elbows are staying nicely tucked through all of this. You're keeping that form. The back's staying straight as well. Lead with the backside when you squat. Straight arms with the weight. As you go down, but straight back. Good. Come on. Keep it moving. Good. Do not let yourself stop. Do not let your form suffer. Everything stays tucked in. Look at my arms. Look at my elbows. Everything's staying close to my body the whole time. And as you get more confident, you can speed it up a little. Come on. Three, two, 
One. Everybody, down onto your mat. Quick as we can. Get your dumbbell, get your kettlebell. Hold it in line with the chest. All we're going to do now, keeping those elbows slightly bent, is guide the back behind the head. Keeping the core tight, and then back into the lower part of the chest. So back behind the head. Keep the core tight, keep the lower back pressed into the mat. And just keep that moving. Good. Well done everybody. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Hold the kettlebell here, lower it down to the chest. And we're gonna do a two in one move, so we're gonna work the glutes and the chest. So we're gonna do a glute bridge into a chest press. So as you push the hips up, you push the kettlebell up as well. So it's up and down, up and down. Come on, push. Push the weight up as you're pushing the hips up. Good, come on. Few more reps. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there, crunch. Just literally lift the shoulders, engage the abs. Come on. Keep it in line with the chest. Three, two, one, on your feet, quick as you can. 30 seconds each side. We're going to do some side bends now. So just hold your weight by your side. Three, two, one. And we're just sliding up and down. Okay, keep the feet level with the shoulders. Keep the back straight up and down. And in 30 seconds, we're going to switch the hand that that weight is in. It's good. Five, four, three, two, one, switch, go. Come on. Keep it up. A few more seconds. Keep everything straight, come on, keep that back straight. Three, two, one, and rest. Kettlebells down, shake your legs off. Hands on the thighs, we stretch those hamstrings first, touch your toes and hold. Deep breaths in and out. Straighten yourselves up. Heel to the back. Tilt the hips forward. Feel it in those quads. And switch. Feet down, link fingers, push out, look down towards the floor. Then 
Bring the fingers behind the back. Shoulders back, raise it up. And relax, shake off the arms, shake the legs up again. Give yourselves a big round of applause, everybody. Well done. Thank you all for tuning in and taking part. Um, back in tomorrow again, as usual. Um, so look forward to seeing you all there. Thanks again, everyone, for all the positive comments and sharing everything. Keep that up, guys. It really does uh, keep me going and keeps me wanting to do it. So thank you all for, for everything. Um, and yeah, hopefully I will see you all tomorrow, back on it again, keep it up everybody, well done, enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs>